And now, ladies and gentlemen, Acts of Love Parenthood. Little tiger sitting on a balcony. Little tiger flipping to my... Hi, I'm Tava Smiley, here in support of Autism Speaks Acts of Love 2010. Tonight, Hollywood joins the dedicated pioneers from the autism community in working for a cure. I think it's important to raise awareness, and in terms of the performance that Cedaring has made, it's, um, it's really about uh, what it means to be a parent. We have been a longtime supporter of Word Theater, mm -hmm. and uh, I actually did this fundraiser five years ago, wow. when it was for Cure Autism Now. Yeah. Um, and since then, my oldest son has been diagnosed with Asperger's. Wow. Uh, just this last year, so, so we're, we're very much in the middle of this world right now. Five years ago, I was supposed to come to one of these benefits. This guy I work with sometimes had bought a couple of tickets and wanted me and Beth to come because it was a good cause. They come through you, but not from you. And though they are with you, yet they belong not to you. You may give them your love, but not your thoughts, for they have their own thoughts. Even when I was a little girl, what I wanted most was to have a child. That was the real me. The movies were fairy tales. I had waited my whole life for the moment of giving birth and it finally happened. I'm sure it's great when you're 18, but I was 30 and the long wait made it much sweeter. And if you think about it, these damn women, they have an ecosystem in their bellies. I mean, a temperature range, climate control, air conditioning, heat, food, water. Damn, think about it. You know, and they talk the whole time. While this is going on, they talk about centimeters, dilations, contractions. I'm like, you're doing math while you're giving birth? I want you in the army with me when we go to war. It's funny, though, becoming a daddy. I fully expected to discover the father within, but I never imagined discovering something far more profound and somewhat troubling. The mother within. They are really, really good parents. Really good people. They're not crazy, they don't yell a lot, or eat too much, or make everything spotless. They're not overprotective. My friends think I have really cool parents, and they're right. If somebody can't deal with my two moms, it's their problem. These are my parents, and they love me. So get used to it. Everything changed radically when my child was diagnosed with autism. Dreams, expectations, out the window. Um, for the next decade, every thought in my head, every urge in my heart, every pulse in my body was redirected to helping my son. And the essay plunged right into Max's lifelong embarrassment of Nat. How Nat talks to himself loudly and what Max called gibberish how people stare at Nat on the street, how Nat has sometimes hurt him and broken his things. Yesterday, a stranger approached me after Nikki had a very public breakdown and said, my sister's son has the same thing. You are a good mom. You really do a good job with him. Keep your mouth closed until you have swallowed. And do not open it to show your brother or your sister what is within. Even if your brother or your sister has done the same to you. Though the pieces of broccoli are like small trees. Do not stand them upright to make a forest because we do not do that. That is why. All this kid wants is this guy's eye, his hand, a look, a hint, a whisper of some recognition. So I said to Nick that I'm perfectly willing to bring up our children as Jews if he'll just agree to raise them as giant fans. And Nick said, no, 
We'll bring them up as giant and redskin fans, and when they're 18, they'll get to choose for themselves. My dad. He listens to me talk about video games. He calls me his precious jewel. He lies with me when I can't go to sleep. He wrestles with me. He buys me things. He tells me he's proud of me. He doesn't lie to me. He does everything he promises. He's funny. He is my best friend. And then, good Lord, it, it suddenly hit me. Oh, yeah. I do those things, too. I want to believe in the power of smiles, hugs, a kind word, truth, justice, peace, dreams, imagination, mankind, and making angels in the snow. So, here's my checkbook. Here's my car keys, my credit card bills, and my 401k statements. I am officially resigning my adulthood. And if you would like to discuss it with me further, you will have to catch me first because tag, you're it! You don't have to be a celebrity to share in this wonderful evening of goodwill. You too can get involved and be a part of the celebration next year. Little tiger Bouncing on the bed Little tiger shaking